Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them out of bite-sized pieces. Today, we're gonna to go over three stories and I'm gonna to try to explain my best way possible why time really is on your side if you are right here for the cryptocurrency digital asset market. So first thing we're gonna take a look at is the Ethiopian education minister confirms Cardano blockchain partnership. On top of that, we'll take a look at uh, when the Bitcoin bull run could potentially end. And finally, we're gonna finish up with Alex Becker. So this doesn't make any sense to you right now, but stick with me. It's all gonna come together uh, in just a little bit. So first up, I just wanna to talk to you about uh, this new partnership uh, that has been opened up with uh, Cardano, IOHK, and Charles Hoskinson. They're going to be bringing forth uh, digital ID to different uh, countries in uh, the continent of Africa. And this is just uh, one thing that was uh, put out uh, to be talked about as far as what's going on uh, with with that whole partnership. And this was a, a big thing because uh, Charles was pretty ticked off uh, yesterday. If you want to check out his channel, the, he's, he goes into detail why he was pretty ticked off at Coindesk for not covering it and pretty much questioning it and calling him a liar. Hey, it, it is what it is. It's super entertaining if you want to uh, uh, watch it. But uh, this is actually from Coindesk and, and they do get, get a little digs in here, but I thought it was uh, interesting where they did actually say, yeah, it's true. Uh, but I mean, how could you not? Uh, Ethiopian education minister confirms Cardano. So what is this all about and how does it pertain to time? I'll tell you in a second. So Ethiopia's minister of education confirmed government is working with IOHK, the company behind the Cardano protocol on a blockchain based system to track student performance in the African country schools. And uh, it says here, uh, O'Connor, and, and when he's talking about O'Connor, he's talking about, uh, this is John O'Connor, uh, John Connor, IOHK's director of African operations. And uh, he told Coindesk the company uh, is only beginning to develop the code for this project and does not expect to launch anything before January 2022. So this uh, in, in its, its entirety is going to be a great thing, but it's going to take a little bit of time, just like with Cardano and everything that they actually do. So uh, down here, just to follow up, it says, uh, this is what's going to happen. Five million Ethiopian students will receive a Cardano blockchain based ID that will allow the ministry to track their academic performance. My curious said uh, Thursday and 750,000 teachers will get access to the system. And then a uh, little dig at the end, of course, was uh, Coindesk says, and Cardano has jumped 9% since April 26th, the day before IOHK announced the Ethiopia project. And on a 24 hour basis, it's down 0.8% to a buck 35, which I actually tweeted out yesterday. I was like, it's pretty amazing to me that the foundation, Cardano Foundation come out and said, hey, we're going to be working with uh, the Ethiopian government, uh, different countries in Africa, and we're going to bring forth uh, some really great things that can help out this entire nation to bring them into, uh, you know, uh, not being so, not being underserved and unbanked and really into the 21st century. And on top of that, they're also going to be giving them or, or talking about uh, partnering up with a platform that brings mobile service and uh, internet throughout the whole continent or parts of the country, I guess. And I just said, it's amazing that that comes out, the price drops 1.4%, but Elon Musk tweets about Dogecoin, the price skyrockets. I'm like, what the, what the heck is going on? And this is what I'm talking about as far as like time. Um, time is really on your side. So if you're early into Cardano, you're early into Bitcoin, you're early into all these things, um, this is the earliest you can possibly get. People don't even realize just how early we are. I mean, we've been around, crypto's been around for quite some time. And people think that it's just, you know, like that. I mean, look how how long it took the internet. Look how long it took something like Netflix to come around when the internet was actually born. The internet was, you know, came around the, in the mid 90s and it took us quite a little bit of time to bring forth uh, Netflix, which is a pretty simple thing, just to stream services. Now we're looking at blockchain of how it's gonna change everything. So it's gonna take this much time. But the real question is, how does that affect you as far as an investor? I'm gonna to get to that in a second. So next up, uh, this is Willie Wu. Uh, and he talks about when the Bitcoin bull run will, will end. And he says, uh, as far as price predictions, he points to last year's Bitcoin halving as another factor that he believes will continue to push the value of Bitcoin up several fold. He predicts Bitcoin's momentum will end in December. This is kind of like how I see it. Some people think that it's gonna actually, some people say that the bull run's already over. I think that's preposterous. I think it's it really hasn't even really hit its stride. And we're only, I mean, just 
this is April 30th, April 30th. And we're not even May 1st. So I'm like, uh, I think we got a little bit of time to go. And uh, as time, and some people will say, well, no, it's going to be in February 2022. I don't know. So to me personally, as, as, a, as an investment opinion, that investment advice, thanks Digital Dave for that one. Um, I think he had a lot of time. Anyhow, uh, to finish up, he says the last one where he talks about these uh, bull runs, the last run was 2017. It took us from $1,000 per Bitcoin to 20,000, and it tends to peter out around the fourth quarter, around December. So ballparking December, uh, and he thinks that Bitcoin will go from 300,000 to 400,000 range. It might even go higher. I think Wooly Woo is a little crazy. I have a prediction of 150,000. That's the most conservative I can possibly get. So again, what does it have to do with everything that has to do with time and how early you are? I'll get to that in a second. I watched a video from Alex Becker. If you don't follow Alex, he's one of the guys that I recommend on my YouTube recommendations. He's a funny guy and he's got some pretty good stuff out there. And uh, this one, he was very serious. And Alex just got into crypto not too long ago. So he, I don't think, he wasn't around 2017. He pretty much got in 20, I think March, last March, he talks about 2020. And he's like, he's like, look, the, the people that made it, the people that are rich in, in this video, he talks about here, 6K into 20 million out. The people that are rich are the ones, or the people that made the most in crypto are the ones that are already were rich in the beginning. And they made a ton of, they made a ton of money in their business. And they put that into crypto where they had like a hundred thousand, couple of million just to play around with, which most people don't. And he said, uh, that's how they are filthy rich as far as crypto goes. And he's right. He's right. And he talks about it in this video and I'll be watch it where he thinks, he says, if you build a business of betting yourself, then it's probably the, the best option for you. And, uh, totally, totally true. But there's a flip side of that. And the flip side of that is that, yes, I'm like, I mean, my businesses have done very well, maybe good amount of money, very happy. Everything's great. Right. And, um, the thing is though, is that you have to remember that some people actually a good amount that you probably don't hear about too much. Um, they made a lot of their money in crypto, but the way they did it was just straight investing, buying, and holding. And I talk about these four-year cycles all the time. Can you imagine back in the day, if you could have gotten into, well, okay, here's an example. Uh, this is this is Bitcoin, but if you got an Ethereum early 2017, that was like five or 10 bucks. Imagine if you put $1,000 into that, 5,000, 10,000. I mean, which is, I mean, even if you, you know, borrowed against something and got it, you would have been out like a bandit. You'd be very, very rich right now. Let's say that you just held, let, let's say in the beginning of 2012, you bought Bitcoin at 14 bucks or something like that. Where would you be right now? And this is just people who just held and held and held. And these are the four year cycles I talk about. 2012, there's always a halving every four years for Bitcoin. And then the alts follow that. So you get an all time high, which here was 1100 bucks, dip reset. Same thing happened in 2016, 2017, 2018, 19, and now here we are in 2020, and then off we go. So for me, I'm going to do pretty well this 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 uh, cycle because I have been dollar cost averaging all the way since about right here. Matter of fact, I kind of screwed up and I didn't uh, sell any uh, as things are going down, but I dollar cost average the whole thing, and this one's going to be pretty well. But here's another thing: if you're here right now and you just got in. What's stopping you from just being an investor and holding and just saying, hey, time's on my side? Because guess what's going to happen? If the other two bull runs hold true, I think this one will hold even uh, truer as, as we go forward. I think if you can just hold on again, again, this is investment opinions, not, a, not investment advice. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. And we're going to have another bull run in 2025. So if you are dead set about making a ton of money, uh, this bull run, it's gonna be very difficult. I mean, you can trade your way to success, but is it gonna be life life altering money? For some it is, but, uh, and, and everybody's different. My goals are not your goals and vice versa. So when you take a look at this and you're like, okay, when Alex talks about the most people get, get the riches because they were already rich, that's true. But guess what? The people that built those businesses, those weren't overnight businesses. Those took time and whatever those, those people were doing. And the same thing holds true for the cryptocurrency digital asset market. There are no get rich quick schemes, but I can tell you right now, if you can just have the mentality of saying, you know what, I wanna get into a position, I wanna get into a project that 
I believe in the team. I believe in the people. I believe in the project of what is going on. And I want to just sit around and just set it and forget it. That's where a good amount of money is made. And that's where, uh, really, if you look at some of the richest people out there, they're just investors. They just buy and hold. If you're looking at businesses or properties or, or stocks, or in this case, cryptocurrency digital assets. And the last thing I will say is this. Where else can you do this? Where else can you make this type of gains? Because I can show you something. Let's take a look at the S&P 500, okay? Which is, you know, the top 500 stocks, uh, you know, globally or, you know, around for these, these huge businesses. And of course, they change all the time because they're the top 500 businesses that are there. Now, you know, 20% uh, um, is uh, Microsoft, Apple, Google, uh, Amazon, and uh, the other one, if I was the other one. So that's the majority of it. But look at this right here. This is the last day. This is this is how much the S&P 500, if you just put it into, it's it's a, it's just an S, it's just an index of all these, these top uh, businesses. And these are the ones that pretty much are the best as far as safety goes. If you look at a day, well, five days, a month, six months, I don't care about this. Let's go for a year. So in, in one year's time, you could have gone from 2830 to 4100. Wow. Wow. What is that? Let's take a look at five years. You could have gone from $2,000 to 4000 You could have doubled your money in a whopping five years. So in all honesty, well, let's go to the max. So how about this? In May 1st, 1981 to 1991, in 10 years, you could have gone from 132 bucks to $300. So when I talk about, and I'll finish this up on my little rant. When I talk about all these investments that you can make the most, and that's where the, a lot of the money is made, the S&P 500 was, was earth shattering and great. And people thought they were making, you know, fantastic gains and everything else. But where else can you invest into a, a, an asset like a Bitcoin, like an Ethereum, like a Cardano? And maybe you don't get, you know, super filthy rich uh, for this bull run. But if you just hold on for a little bit, just wait a little bit, uh, there's one right around the corner, just like a party bus. And that's really all it really comes down to. Anyhow, so look, uh, if you found value in that video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Uh, tell me what you think in the comment section. Also, if you like the videos, just give it a uh, just subscribe. And uh, that is it for today. So thanks for uh, bearing with me and I'll see you.